Hi, Roman here from The Music Transcriber. Today I'm going to show you how to install third-party plugins for Sibelius on a Mac. So the first thing we need to do is quit Sibelius. You can see on my desktop I have a zip file here. This is how most plugins are delivered to you when you purchase them. Let's go ahead and unzip that. Inside you see a number of things, but the .plg file is the actual plugin file. So we need to drag or copy that PLG file to the correct folder for Sibelius to install it. It used to be a lot easier on older Macs to find this installation folder, but Apple has tried to make things more secure and less likely that users will mess up their folder hierarchy and supporting data. The folder we are looking for is library slash application support slash avid slash Sibelius slash plugins. So what we need to do is click on go. And you notice that the library location is not an option. So if you click and hold the option key on your keyboard, it will appear. You could also option click on the menu to reveal it. Then we go to library, then navigate to application support, then Avid, then Sibelius, then plugins. If there is no plugins folder, create one and make sure to name it plugins with the P capitalized. Then drag your .plg file into that folder. Or you could make nested folders with different descriptions or collections essentially. Now let's reopen Sibelius. The easiest way to find the plugin is to start typing the name into the ribbon. So here you can see the plugin is showing up, which means it's installed. And if you click on it, it will execute. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're looking for Sibelius plugins to speed up your workflow or create music in new and exciting ways, visit themusictranscriber.com.